Hi guys, today we are reviewing the Fossil CH2706 Stellar Watch. In the review we'll go through the style, features as well as dimensions. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> As I said in the intro, this is a Fossil Stellar watch. It's in a teal colour and it's a fully aluminium watch, as are all of the Stellar watches. So we have an aluminium case. We have beautiful chrome pushers and a crown. And we have an aluminium teal bracelet. The bracelet also features a deployment clasp. You have the manufacturer's logo in a chrome finish and a stainless steel clasp. This is just a push together with a lock. There's no adjustment points on this watch. So this watch, once you adjust it with the links, that's it, you can't adjust it anymore. So you have to make it fit with links. It might fit, it might be a little bit loose or a bit, bit tight. You've got no way in between, unfortunately, on these watches. We have a stainless steel screw on back. That tells us that the watch is 10 atoms or 100 meters water resistant. If we come round to the face, as I said, we've got these lovely pushers for the chronograph in this nice chrome, and then we've got this chrome edge to the bezel. The bezel itself is again in the teal colour as the rest of the watch. We've got a tachometer in silver. Now it's not a rotating bezel, it's a fixed bezel. As I said, it's a tachometer, so it's just to use as a calculator to work out the timing from the stopwatch. We have a teal matte sort of silvery finished face. We have a slightly lighter blue finish around the edge of the dial. And then we've got these markers in black for the minutes and chrome battens with luminous painting for the hour markers. There's no date window on this watch, so it's just timing only. We've got three subdials. The subdials are in a sort of a nice sunrake finish, which is quite nice. They've got a nice chrome gilt edge to them. Then you've got these nice chrome hands for the subdials. You've got chrome hands and chrome second hand for the hours and minutes. The hours and minutes hands have luminous paint in them. The second hand doesn't. The second hand's just a chrome hand. Now the subdials, most same as most stopwatches. On this watch, the dial at three o'clock is just a 24 hour timing. So it tells us what time of day we're in. Bottom is the seconds and nine o'clock is the minutes. And as with all stopwatches, when you press the top button, stopwatch starts with the bottom dial. And so as that carries around, if it will go all the way around, then the minute will come up in the nine o'clock position. Press the top button to stop it. Press the bottom button for it to return. Pretty standard chronograph feature, as always. Now, this watch is part of a series and part of a star. So, so this is a Stella watch. Now, some people market this Stella watch as a ladies watch or women's style. It's more universal because it's quite a big watch. I wouldn't say it's just a woman's watch at all. I'd say it's more universal. It depends where you see it advertised and where you buy it because some people will advertise it as unisex. Others will advertise it as a woman's watch. There is a range of colours in this watch. I've been hunting quite hard to get these. They're not so easy to get hold of now. Quite difficult to find. There's some nice greens, blues, oranges, all sorts of different colours. This one matches my original brown one, which is this one. This is the first watch that I bought in the Stella range. And I said they're both exactly the same apart from colour. So we come to the sizes. The face is 33 millimetres. The case is 42. If we include the crown, that makes it 45 millimetres. The strap is 21 millimetres. And the depth, overall depth, is 14 millimetres. Weight-wise, it weighs 89 grams. So as I said, it's really a sort of a unisex watch more than, you know, it would fit a man's wrist just as comfortable as it fit a woman's wrist. On some women's wrists, it would be a bit big. Thanks for watching. If you like the review, please hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of my watch reviews, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of when I do more reviews. If you have any questions about this or any other watch, hit the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.